Hi everyone, my name is Marek Norowziak. Uh, on Discord I'm Renzo Kuken and I received ZK Ignite Cohort 2 grant to develop a, a ZK app that permits to create uh, to create ZK apps which are escrow smart contracts and I record this video uh, to make a little mini demo of the app we are not going to test the entire flow of, of this app uh, but I will just show you the basic and what has been changed so uh, just like Candy Dolfer has uh, recorded Lily was here in just one take we are also going to try to do it in just one take so uh, yeah let's get started so this is my proposal that was funded and uh, let's just go directly to the deployed app this is it so one of the things that uh, I will I will basically focus on what has changed since the last version of the app because it's not the first grant I am receiving. That's also another reason why we are not going to do the entire flow. So the UI changed a little bit. There is a menu here. This is a minor change. Uh, of course, I'm not going to list all the changes, just <laughs> the most relevant ones. And uh, there is network selection here. So test wordless uh, also available. And we are ready for mainnet once available. So let's load snarky.js. Sorry, O1.js now. I feel confident I replace the name everywhere. <laughs> Connect the wallet. Wallet connected. Uh, you didn't see anything because I already connected before, but this is the Aura wallet. Yep, this address. Compile circuit. This is one of the most significant changes actually. So the circuit compiles really, really fast now. It takes around one minute compared to 20 minutes, seven to 20 minutes before. So this is a huge improvement. So uh, yeah, let's wait for it to compile. <laughs> and in the meantime, we can start creating a ZK app generate a private key this is it actually private keys are no longer handled explicitly here uh, only for the newly created zk app uh, we do not handle private keys anymore for the user to perform deployments or any other transaction because auto wallet is now fully integrated so I already have filled this form many, many times. So there are three min addresses, the employer, contractor, and arbiter. So basically the employer is going to pay Mina to the contractor to do something and arbiter will decide if it was done correctly or not. So let's just say that the employer wants the contractor to um, tweet some banana emojis and the contractor is willing to pay 0.01 MINA for it, but will make a security deposit of 0.001 MINA. This is the penalty for failing to fulfill the, the contract in percentage. Also contractor penalty to cancel the contract, wasting time, uh, still compiling. <laughs> and uh, security deposit of the employer because everyone needs to do a little security deposit arbiter also will get paid for his or her service and will also do security deposit and there will be penalty for not acting there are some deadlines basically uh, how many blocks to execute an action we'll just leave standard so five blocks i guess or ten blocks so, uh, and we can provide a description of each of the outcomes. So everyone has made a deposit and new ZK app is ready. Um, the contractor has tweeted a banana emoji. Failure to tweet. and decided 
not to tweet. So the reason why we provide those oral, uh, oral sorry, written descriptions is because the arbiter needs to know um, like how to judge if something was done or not. Circuit compiled, by the way, that was really, really fast compared to before. So now we can, uh, let's just export it. So finalize, and this is the ZK app actually, this serialized binary um, <laughs> code is, this is a serialized ZK app. So other participants like the Arbiter and um, the contractor, they can just put uh, import and paste it here. I will show you, I will show it to you later. Let's just actually save it here. But for now, let's just deploy. Uh, so interact, pending deployment, deploy. So now it's uh, computing the ZK proof. It's proving, proving takes the most time. It takes a little bit more time than before because now I combined uh, two steps into one step. So there is uh, deploying and initializing in one step. So one transaction less, but the first transaction is a bit harder to prove. So it takes more time. So in the meantime, let's take a look at this. So these are the participants of the contract. We are now creating a ZK app, literally, like just by filling this form. And these are the participants of the ZK app. These are the outcomes. So these are in block times. So everyone needs to deposit after this block, before this block. Judging success. So the arbiter has to judge if it was successful failure cancel between these blocks. And these are the net changes of Mina for performing the actions. Description, tweet some banana emojis. So uh, like this person has to open Twitter, tweet some banana emojis, and this person will decide it if it was done or not. And here are the descriptions we just, we just typed in. So let's wait for the transaction to be ready. You can also probably guess why uh, we can't do entire flow in, in, in this video. I, I already did pretty much the entire flow in the previous video. It was taking 20 minutes. So this is the biggest constraint because basically you intentionally not want to do everything immediately. You want it to be spread in time in order to let each of these parties to act at their own convenience. So in, in real life case, these block times would be even, like these spans would be even larger. So for the purpose of the demo, they are a bit shorter, but in general, they would be way, way, way wider, wider, larger. <laughs> yeah. Still proving. There are still some limitations of this app, so one of the things is uh, there was a lot of changes since Snarky JS, um, and not like some most of the things work a lot better now in this app, especially the compile time and Aura Wallet integration. However, some of the things no longer work, which are mostly minor things. So occasionally there are some glitches which I haven't fully managed to understand why they stopped working. One of those things is a uh, problem with the uh, updating the block times. So somehow it stopped fetching, you know, like how the block changes. Some sort of network issue. So it is pretty much limiting because in order to run another action by someone else, like one needs to refresh the page and log in again, which is not the worst now because the compilation no longer takes 20 minutes. It was taking seven to 20 minutes. Now it takes one minute, so still better. However, um, there are still bugs to be fixed. 
for that reason I might apply for another grant in cohort 3 um, okay still proving <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty strange that actually caching because, oh yes, we, we have it here. So this is the ZK app, this is the transaction fee. Someone might change it if you like. It puts the default transaction fee. This is the payment for creating an address. And uh, yeah, let's confirm it. Okay. The UI changed, so this is the acting UI. Basically, deploy is done. It it sh it. These would become clickable if these constraints are satisfied. So if this block time is between this and this, it would be possible to click deposit, assuming you are one of these parties, of course, and you haven't deposited yet. So everyone has to deposit. Everyone can withdraw after the whole flow is finished or cancelled and the arbiter can judge success, judge failure or cancel for penalty. Actually, cancel for penalty is pretty much for everyone. This is the transaction. Still pending, but it was submitted, like no errors here. This is a huge win because before there was a bug in snarky.js, which I happen to have fixed actually, that was preventing the deployment with Oro Wallet. Regular transactions were working, but not the deployment. Now it's working, it is possible to deploy. And before it wasn't possible back then, just to complete the grant, I had to sort of hack it. And that's why we had all those private keys in, um, in the ZK app. Now it's all removed. That was the biggest milestone of the grant, actually. So, okay. So meanwhile, while waiting on to, to this transaction to become confirmed, let's do a little thing and I will show you what the others parties should do now. So let's just go to uh, close. So we are just going to close this contract. Let's go to import. And this is the MacPack editor. So you guys remember this value. This is the smart contract that we just created using the form. You can just paste it here. And now it works really smoothly because uh, one of the milestones of cohort two for me was to replace this editor with something good <laughs> because it was just editable HTML element. Now. It's a style text area, so we can smoothly paste and edit and do all those things. So let's import. Did it work? Yes, it worked. So now we can just go to interact once again. And uh, yeah, it hasn't detected it was deployed because it's still stuck on the same block time. But you can see it's the same uh it's the same uh, it's the same contract so basically you can communicate contracts between the parties using this these strings and uh yeah that's pretty much it so we could just refresh the page sort of log in again import and deposit and other parties can do the same thing. And it's the arbiter who decides uh, basically what, uh, what happens. If the contractor should be paid or not, etc. So uh, that was a very, <laughs> very brief de demo of my ZK app. I plan to, I plan to plan to do it again, perhaps live during the milestone presentation. Uh, so if you're going to be there, you feel free to, to ask me questions. Also, I'm going to upload this video to YouTube. You can ask questions in the comments if you have any. And I highly encourage you to visit the, like the, the app is live. If you have Oro Wallet, you can already use it. You can try the whole flow. You can try it with me if you like. 
it's easier to test if there's multiple parties. It's hard to test when there's just one party like me. So uh, yeah, thank you for your attention. Thank you for watching my demo and see you at the uh, ZK Ignite Cohort 2 Milestone presentation. See you guys.